All right, what you're seeing here is I found this on Pinterest. I don't have a headboard, so I wanted to do something to add some mm, little mm, to the room. So I went to Ollie's and I got a curtain rod and curtains and wouldn't you know it, the look is just great. Then I went to Walmart and got this window at the craft center and then I took a Christmas decor. <laughs> yeah. It's not it look doesn't look real Christmas Christmassy, but I figured I'll just pull it out and see what it looks like. And it looks so cute. Let me widen that view. It looks so cute. This is inspired by Pinterest. So I went and Google searched this before I went and did this because we had to drill the rods up with the brackets. So what do you think? Not bad. I think it's a really great function. Now, I had other ideas, but they just didn't work. And this came together really well. So let me show you, get an up close. The curtain rods from Ollie's, the curtains from Ollie's. The curtain rod was $9.99. The curtains were $9.99 and $20. I didn't have to go out and buy a headboard. And this uh, window was, uh, I think, 18 around that, around that price range. And then, of course, the wreath was in my storage bin. Okay, so not bad. I like it. Okay, the Dollar Tree Snowflake Wreath. Okay, I did finish it with a bow, and I also added cranberries into this. So you see the cranberries? I, I, I took rubber cement glue because they don't have any glue at Dollar Tree. Uh, either Dollar Tree ran out because of Halloween decor. So I'm working on the Christmas uh, theme right now because um, we don't do Halloween for some reason or another. That's just been the choice we made a long time ago. So we started working on Christmas early. So the bow, let me show you the bow. Isn't this cute, the little trucks? Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, so I am not a bow maker at all, but I did take the rubber cement, well, it says cement glue, and I attached the uh, bow to the wreath. You can see the cranberries there, cranberries there, and I got a three pack of, well, three of each to finish that wreath. Okay, this is a white snowball wreath. And if you don't know where to find the snowballs, I got them at Dollar Tree. If they don't have them at Dollar Tree, they do have them in the bundle at Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. Okay, I want to show you a trick. This is a car wash rag or towel. And... I took one and split it in fours. I cut it and put it around the wreath form. So if you're wondering how that's done, that's how it's done. And then I hot glued the snowballs all around to get you that look that you're after. Now, if you can get more snowballs, the idea is to have as many more snowballs. I just ran out of glue and glue is hard to find around Halloween, I learned. So that's how you make your snowball wreath. 
happy. I was going to say, I was going to say happy Halloween, but it's not, I mean, we're talking about Christmas. And that's a three tier tray I made out of a cake pan and a pie pan and a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. So it's, very easy to do as long as you have E6000 hot glue. Look at the candlesticks. Make sure you have the glue to do this, okay? Just simple. I spray painted it, so um, what I would do is spray paint it first and then let it dry and then put it together. Okay, what I wanted to say is here's that multi purpose cement that I was talking about. Can you see it? I don't know if that's focus. It's at a Dollar Tree. Okay, now the wood chips. I'm still looking for a purpose for this. Okay, so this is one of them that is dry. This one is drying. So I'm going to research it a little bit more about what to do with it. I think a lot of people use these as plant stands. I'm not sure. But that's what I have going on here. And I had to use, because I didn't have hot glue, I had to use this multi-purpose cement, which I got in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching.